Mauled by a shark but alive, we speak to the heroes who saved a man's life. A devastating weekend of drowning, seven lives lost in New South Wales and Victoria as temperatures soar. The Australian vaccine developers setting their sights on the mutant COVID strain as three cases are confirmed connected to the Australian Open. The Aussie-led international operation to capture an alleged drug baron. How police finally nabbed the kingpin accused of orchestrating the importation of more than half Australia's illegal drugs. And a legendary voice falls silent, broadcaster Larry King remembered. This is 10 News First with Chris Barth. A man has cheated death escaping the jaws of a shark in waters north of Sydney. It happened in Lake Macquarie, a region where shark sightings are rare, let alone attacks like this one. The experienced swimmer has his wife, a lifeguard and other selfless locals to thank for his survival. A mercy flight to save Rick Burberry after the marine biologist was mauled by a predator of the deep. He was shredded, his arm was pretty shredded in bits and pieces. And immediately by the sounds of things, motorists have been warned to expect some delays tomorrow. Sport now for one final time with Ros Kelly who is leaving us. I'll get to more of that a little bit later. But Ros, I'm with the sport. The tennis players are almost free and so are you. Don't get too excited. We've got one more bulletin coming up after this, Bartha. You're not getting rid of me that quickly. But yes, the countdown is on for the internationals until quarantine ends and they can kick off their Australian Open assault. While the Aussies clock up valuable court time to give themselves an edge, hear from them next. Plus, Scotty James was pumped after nailing this run in Switzerland. Was it enough to bring home another gold? And the woman smashing the glass ceiling in Major League Baseball. That's ahead. Good evening. While 72 international players count down the days to escape hard lockdown, the Aussie contingent continues to clock up quality practice in Melbourne. Tanasi Kokonakis is one local hope who's looking to cash in on a leg up from Tennis Australia. Nick Butler for 10 News First. The Perth Scorchers have jumped to the top of the Big Bash League ladder after beating the Melbourne Stars by 11 runs at the MCG. After failing to register a win in their opening four games, the Scorchers have now won eight of their past nine. Drama in the FA Cup with a minnow of English football coming within nine minutes of beating... 16-year-old Mohamed Toure scored the match winner for Adelaide United against Melbourne. Aussie snowboarder Scotty James has just missed out on gold at the Halfpipe World Championships. Already. And the rest of the day, sports news and highlights are coming up just after six, Chris, including a special feature on a woman absolutely smashing the glass ceiling in Major League Baseball. Looking forward to that. Thanks, Roz. Coming up next, we'll update our top stories and Amanda Jason has all the weather details. More sport now with Ros Kelly and Rosie Aussies look pretty confident ahead of the Oz Open. They've had a much better preparation than the internationals, Barthi, and injury-prone Aussie Tanasi Kokonakis is bullish about his Australian Open prospects after accepting a wild card. The Perth Scorchers have moved to the top of the Big Bash League after beating the Melbourne Stars. FA Cup holders Arsenal are out of the competition, meaning less opportunity for their new Aussie recruit, Matt Ryan. The Gunners lost to Southampton, while Manchester City were given a scare by a much more lowly opponent. Women in sport are constantly breaking down barriers, but it's far from easy. Rachel Balkovitz knows that better than most. The 33-year-old has become a force in Major League Baseball and is now in Australia, blazing her trail the day. And that is what you call a good day at the office, Barthi. It's not a bad day at all. Thanks, Ross. <laughs> Coming up next, Amanda Jason is back with the weather for the week ahead. Cooler though by Tuesday with tops of 24 degrees and partly cloudy, 27 on Wednesday. But Barthi, here in the studio tonight, things are a little bit gloomy. Very gloomy, very sad. We are losing Ros Kelly, unfortunately. She's leaving us. Ros, I've got to say, it's been wonderful working with you. You are a fabulous hum human. I know we all wish, including the floor crew here tonight, that we change you to the desk <laughs> and that you were staying. But we know this is a new chapter of your career and we wish you all the best at the wide world of sports. We know you're going to be sensational. Can't wait to see what you do there at Channel 9. It's been such an honour working with both of you and I'm really going to miss our, our girl gang on the weekend, but I'll be watching. Good night.